Hi everyone and welcome back to The Happy Heart. I'm so glad that you guys came over today to see this haul. I absolutely have to stop going to the store. Have to, because every time I go, even to take something back or exchange something, I end up buying more stuff. Not that I didn't need some of this stuff, but oh, you know, you know how it is. So I hope I'm not the only one that does that, but I'll show you guys what I got. I just went to Walmart yesterday or the day before and um, bought some curtains and I'll link that haul here for you. And today I'm having an issue with my curtain rods and I'll, sh I'll tell you guys about it. I'll show you my haul. So this is the overview. I still need to clean my kitchen. In the middle of shooting a cleaning video, when I get that done, I'll link it here. <laughs> so let's go through. I went ahead and got paper um, pretty much for, I'm hoping, the school year. Uh, this was only $2.97, which was a really good price, so I went ahead and just grabbed two things of paper. Meant to grab it the other day, totally forgot. Can't do anything lately, I swear. Um, went ahead and got um, spaghetti sauce because um, Anthony's going out of town, so when he goes out of town, I cook super simple for me and my son. And do you guys want to see Kona? Say hi, Kona! We're watching someone's uh, our friend's dog, and this is Kona. So if you hear her jingling, that's that's who's jingling. Back to the hall. I uh, went ahead and grabbed some pizza sauce because I saw this thing on Facebook, a video where you use Texas toast, which I grabbed here. You put some pizza sauce and cheese and pepperoni and make like a pizza out of the Texas toast. Sounded like a wonderful junk food. Doesn't that sound great? I'll let you guys know how it is, but um, I might do a video on it. I don't know. We'll see how the boys are. But um, so I grabbed those two things for that. Uh, grabbed applesauce for Ryan just to have on hand. Grabbed cheese for pizza, and I so I grabbed a pizza blend and a Fiesta blend. We do tacos at least once a week, so we either do Taco Tuesday or Taco Thursday, depending on our schedule. So we were almost out of cheese, so I just grabbed a small one since Anthony's going out of town. This is my child's uh, summer break treat. I have a lot of stuff I want to get done this week coming up and just I feel like we're gonna be busy so I grabbed four of these they were on sale for a dollar I think they're usually a little bit more than that I can't remember it's been so long since I bought these I never hardly buy them but my son thinks they're amazing and I did when I was a kid too so I can't say anything I uh, got pepperonis for the pizza little things I was just telling you guys about went ahead and got some meatballs because my child loves some spaghetti and meatballs. So I wanted to make sure I had that on hand. Uh, grabbed some strawberries and cucumbers. Um, in our house, if I made a salad every night before dinner, my guys would eat it, I swear. So um, I try about three times a week to make sure that happens. And a lot of times it's almost every night. So I went ahead and grabbed two cucumbers because we were out. I just used them on the salad that I took to the shelter the other day. Uh, went ahead and grabbed some uh, some guacamole for myself for tacos. This just sounded really good. I don't know why. I was super hungry when I was shopping, so oh, don't do that to yourself, guys. I walked around and I needed to get a white t-shirt for Anthony because me and Ryan are gonna be doing some tie-dyeing, one of our summer fun things. So I grabbed that for Anthony because he said to make him one. Plus, I got Ryan some undershirts. Last time I bought him undershirts, I bought the tank top ones, and ooh, he did not like it. He got mad. He was like, Mom, these are too tight, and he he was just, they were not modest enough for him. He's, he's interesting. Yeah, I said modest, and he's a boy. Swear, that's how he is. But, um, so grab some of those, uh, and I had kept forgetting those for at least a month now. Went ahead and got some essential oil. I never used any before. I got some lemon because I've been watching uh, the channel that The Crazy Life. And she puts this down her sink and it makes it smell good. And she also uses some on her steam mop. So I actually wanted to try that. So I, I've never bought any before. Didn't even know if the Walmart ones were 
good for that, but I figured if I'm just using it for cleaning purposes, it's probably okay. Went ahead and grabbed drapery rod rings because I got some rings the other day and decided that these ones look better. These are actually what I had, but I didn't know. So I'm gonna have to take the other ones back. I really like it when you hang curtains that you have the rings to hang them on. I just think it looks more high end. I went ahead and got these cast brackets um, to hang my curtain rods. The problem I'm having is the blinds weren't hung correctly in the house and so I can't use a regular curtain rod or a regular curtain bracket <laughs> and um, I'll show you the problem I'm having. I'm hoping that this will fix it because these were like $7 a piece and I was just like, oh man. So I'm hoping this will work. Never hardly buy candles at Walmart, but I did pick this one up today. I was actually looking for a white one because I thought it'd be pretty. So as I started smelling, I realized that the white ones didn't smell the way I wanted them to. But this one smells really good. It's more like fruity, but not over the top. And oh, I was excited. It was the last one too. So um, next time you're in Walmart, smell this candle. Tell me what you think, because I was excited. Went ahead and grabbed some shampoo because I was running out. And this one I've been using because my hair gets greasy after one day. How everybody's like, oh, don't wash your hair and da 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 for two or three days. Yeah, that's not me. And so um, I've been doing it every other day per the girl that I just went to. Um, but this really does work the best for me. Anything that has tea tree, I'm sure it's not wonderful for your hair, but it didn't matter what it was, high end, not high end, it, w it still was getting greasy. I went ahead and grabbed this shimmer lights because I do my hair blonde and my hairstylist told me, she said you can find this at Sally's or Walmart or anything and um, it's really good to do about once a week, keeps your blonde really vibrant I guess. So it wasn't a too terrible of a price. Um, I want to say it was under $10. I want to say it was six something, but I don't remember. So um, I'm going to try it and see how it goes. This is my last thing I got. This was such an impulse purchase. I was um, folding clothes last night and realized how dirty my floor was because I'll show you guys my um, washer and dryer are really low to the ground. And so I was sitting on the floor because I'm weird like that. But um, I thought maybe this would help. And today when I was hanging a picture, I noticed that I really needed to get in and like vacuum under my cushions. And this has like a convenience, it can turn into a little handheld. It says it's versatile. Um, it's corded is the only thing, but it was only $20. And I thought maybe this would help me not have to sweep so much. So ugh, cross your fingers on this because I hate sweeping. I need a Dyson cordless vacuum so bad. Can Black Friday come, please, please? This is the, this is the other thing I wanted to show you guys. So my blinds are like this. So there's a thing all the way at the top and they come down, right? You wouldn't think anything of it. There is molding, however, there's molding in the window. So if you move the blind, there's molding. So in theory, the blinds should be hung on the inside of the window, but they're not. And I think because they wanted the thicker blinds, the homeowners, I think that's why they didn't do it because um, my house is, it's not brand new or anything. And so um, I would assume that the thicker blinds wouldn't fit inside of it, but I don't know. So what I'm fighting with is, do you see how that is? See how long that is? So when I was putting up a regular bracket and rod, it was like doing this weird like curve thing because it has to get over that thing. So I could leave it up. I could not put curtains up, but I really like curtains. So yeah, 
how I've so as you can tell that is what I've been dealing with um, that is a whole reason I went to Walmart was to buy longer brackets and I thought oh, I'll just go buy some longer brackets no big deal come to find out even if they make brackets that you can buy by themselves they're still only about an inch long and I needed them about three inches longer at least two and a half to get past that big thing so I'm hoping the ones I bought worked Cross your fingers and pray this works, guys. I'm just didn't know what else to do, and I still wanted to make my home cozy because I have to look at it every day. So we'll see what happens. I'm not 100% sure if what I got is going to work or not, and we'll just see. But that was my Walmart haul for today. It was a hundred about a hundred and thirty dollars which I hate the fact that you go to Walmart and you just come out with like a hundred dollars it's I don't know why it happens to me all the time so I've decided that I'm not going back for a while actually that's not true I have to take some stuff back but I'm not gonna go shopping I'm just gonna take my things back that I need to take back oh pray for me we'll see you guys in my next brand new video bye for now